My name is Nadia, and I work here at Descanso Gardens. Descanso Gardens is a botanical garden just outside of Los Angeles. We're going to think about the word adaptations today. Maybe you've heard the word before. An adaptation is a special feature that helps a plant or an animal survive in a specific place. Today, we're going to explore how these oak trees all around us have special adaptations that help them survive well here in Southern California. We're also going to think about how they interact with local wildlife. Let's start by thinking about the oak tree's environment. Coast live oak trees are native to California, meaning they naturally grow here. Think about the weather in Los Angeles. We have short, cool, wet winters and long, hot, dry summers. So these trees need to be able to survive for a good part of the year without rain. Let's remember this as we think about adaptations a little later on. Let's also think about the animals that live in this environment. Although these trees may seem quiet and still, they're actually full of life. A single tree like this can provide for up to 350 different species. Different parts of the oak tree have different adaptations for survival. Let's talk about all the different parts. Let's start by looking at the ground. We might find some acorns. Many animals like to eat acorns, and squirrels especially love them. Squirrels will gather the acorns in the fall and bury them to last through the winter. They bury so many that they forget where they hid them, and those forgotten acorns will grow into an oak tree. And underground, you'll find the roots. Imagine a big network beneath our feet of roots seeking to find water. Because remember, these oak trees need to be able to survive for a good part of the year without rain. Let's take a look at the bark. You'll notice that it's rough to the touch, and it's also thick. That's an adaptation that helps this tree survive in case there was ever a fire here in the summer when it's hot and dry. When you look closely, you'll also find signs of animal life. Those signs might include maybe holes or, or something that shows that an insect or maybe an acorn woodpecker stored some acorns here. Maybe you'll even see insects on the bark. And if you look really closely up in the branches, maybe you'll notice a lizard perching on a nook, keeping an eye out on those insects. Take a look up at the branches. You'll notice they're long and spreading, searching for the sun. You might also see a nest when you're looking up. These nests belong to birds and also to squirrels. The birds and squirrels like to build their nests high up in the branches in order to keep them safe from predators. Let's think about how these leaves are adapted to help the tree survive. An oak tree has two different sized leaves. The ones on the bottom are bigger, the ones on the top are smaller. This helps save water. They're also kind of thick. That helps save water too. You'll also notice they're pointy. That's to protect them from hungry animals. Today we learned about how these oak trees survive with the help of plant adaptations and interacting with animals. Here are some questions to help think more about adaptations. What adaptations do plants need to grow in Southern California? How might a tree that grows in a different state, maybe where it has snowy cold winters, adapt differently than these oak trees that grow here? I hope you had fun exploring these Southern California oak trees with me at Descanso Gardens. I'm Nadia, until next time.